what's up you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel so i am so excited for today's video i literally had to run home to sit down to film all this stuff with you because i've just been doing some shopping over the past like week or so i've just accumulated a lot of like really good exciting new hygiene finds so this is not the bag i was looking for i went to target i went to walmart i also went to dollar general and i found some body care products there as well all like pretty affordable stuff lots of brand new things and new fragrances real quick before we get started it's probably gonna be a long video because i do have like literally like four bags to go through grab yourself a snack and if you are new here i would love to have you subscribe make sure you turn on your post notifications that way you guys will get notified whenever i post new videos I do post new videos every single week about hygiene. I do a lot of hauls, body care, fragrance, like all things beauty related. So if that sounds like something you're into, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And I will also have my TikTok and Instagram linked down below as well. With all that being said, let's go ahead and get started. So I think we should start with Walmart because Walmart, they got me excited today. There is some new stuff from Bodycology, which I just shared over my Instagram. So I wanted to make a whole video to let you guys know what's new in store. So Bodycology is a very affordable brand. I actually did an entire video of my entire Bodycology collection. So if you guys missed that, I will have it linked up here for you guys to check out. But it looks like they're coming out with some new spring and like summer stuff. Yeah, I just got really excited. So there's this new scent in Peach Sunrise, but I first saw one of the scents shared over on Instagram. And once I saw that, I knew I had to go to Walmart to try to find it for myself. And I actually had to go to three different Walmarts to try to find it. So it was a little bit of a struggle, but eventually the last Walmart that I went to, I ended up finding them there. I got it in the body wash and I also got it in the body cream, which typically I don't buy a lot of these body creams because to be honest, they're not really my favorite formula. It just looks so cute. I mean, I don't know if you guys be able to like really see, but the packaging is just so beautiful, very bright, and just really pretty for spring and summer. So the notes for this is notes of clementine, berry, and jasmine. And I smelled the body wash in stores just because it's kind of hard to smell like the fragrance mist or the body creams. And it smells like a juicy peach, at least so in the body wash, kind of on the lighter side. So I'm curious to see like how it actually performs whenever you're using it in the shower. Sometimes body washes are a lot stronger once you're actually like in the shower using them. Let's see how the fragrance actually is. It does say limited edition here on the front. Usually with these, they'll have to like let the alcohol kind of dry down a little bit. So first off, it smells like a lot of alcohol. Okay, so I'm like letting this dry down and I'm still smelling a lot of the alcohol. Like the juicy peach is like starting to peek through. So maybe I'm going to give this one a chance to dry down. Actually, I'm going to put down a little bit of the body cream and then spray the fragrance mist over top to see and then we'll... We'll come back to it in a second. I feel like this is one that I do want to give a chance, especially because, you know, the packaging is so cute. And it's just always exciting to see, like, new fragrances being released. Okay, so we'll come right back to that. But there are a few other scents. This one I just got in the fragrance mist. This one is Peony Blush. They did have this one in the matching body cream, but I ended up passing on it because I just wanted to try the scent out first. This has notes of Pink Peony apple rose and soft musk so it's definitely more of like a floral scent really pretty for spring i actually really like the packaging of this one if you guys can see it's this pretty pink bottle i'm expecting this to be more of like a fruity floral scent oh yeah this Wait, this kind of reminds me of some perfume that I've tried. It's definitely giving that perfume vibe because of the florals and the musk in there. It is like a little bit sweet because of the apple. Like it's a little bit more kind of like a juicy apple, but overall just like really heavy on the florals. So if you're a fan of peony or you like rose, like you like those like kind of like lighter, almost kind of like powdery-ish florals, then... I think you would like this one. It's definitely more on the fresh side. A very like light kind of girly floral scent. The apple note is there. Like I can smell the apple, but it's kind of, you know, hidden more so in the background. So I wouldn't say this is like a super sweet fruity floral. If anything, I'm just getting mostly like the peony and the rose. I went back to smell this peach sunrise one. I'm not really smelling much of the berries. There was clementine, berry, and jasmine. Mm, if anything, just more of the peach and the clementine. The peach like isn't like a super juicy sweet peach scent. I find it to be sweeter actually in the body wash than I do the fragrance mist. I'm gonna have to see. I think it'd be really great to layer with. I'm not usually crazy about a lot of peach scents, but I've been trying to find like really good ones. So I still like to try them whenever they have new scents out. You know, a lot of the times they can be a miss for me. Sometimes peach scents can smell kind of like sour on my skin. I don't know what exactly it is about peach scents. I'm still on the hunt to find that perfect one, but this is more so like a fresh peach. Not really like an artificial like peach candy scent like some of the other ones that we've seen. Like peach prosecco macaron from Bath and Body Works that literally smells like peach rings. This 
is like nothing like that. It's more so like an actual like fresh fruit. And the other new one is this one in strawberry cheesecake. And you guys just look at the packaging. Like soon as I saw this, it immediately went into my cart. And this says it has notes of strawberry, berry cream, and vanilla. It has little pictures here of strawberry cheesecake and it just looks super cute. I sprayed this one on my hand and it literally instantly reminded me of strawberry pound cake. I do love me some strawberry pound cake, so... I'm not like totally mad about it, but I would have liked it to be just, I don't know, to smell like an actual cheesecake. I don't know what that would smell like in body care, but to me this smells more so like a strawberry shortcake. So it's really reminding me a lot of strawberry pound cake from Bath and Body Works. This could be like another like affordable option. I mean, you can get your hands on the like actual strawberry pound cake if you wait for a sale for like six bucks. Even at the sale price, this is still cheaper because these are around like three, like just under four dollars. As it's drying down, I'm getting less of the cream and just more of just like straight strawberry, but really sweet, very girly, really great for layering with. You know, I'm not totally mad about it, but I would have, you know, wanted something just like a little bit different. And the last thing I got from Walmart before we get into some of the other like random stuff, I got this soft soap body wash. These are so large. It literally takes me forever to get through soft soap body wash. That's kind of why I've been holding off and not getting quite as many of these, but this one is in the jasmine and vanilla scent. And I do have a lot of fragrances and fragrance mist with jasmine notes. So this would be very easy to layer with like any type of routine that I'm using for the day. If I'm going for something a little bit more floral, but it still has a little bit of sweetness because of the vanilla note in there. This one is like super fresh. It kind of smells like a lot of the other like soft soap body washes. Like it has like that soapy like scent to it. I don't know if that makes sense, but it just, it smells like a body wash. Like it's just like very fresh and clean, but you still have like that jasmine and hints of vanilla. This one does say limited edition. I saw it in stores like maybe like a few weeks ago now. Like, like it's been a little while since I first purchased this, but I just been holding off because I wanted to share with you guys before putting it away. So now I actually have a chance to start using it. And then the other things I picked up from Walmart are all like home fragrance. So I got some wax melts and also some air fresheners. This first one, I don't know if I've seen this one before, but it's called Island Coconut Creamsicle and it's from Better Homes and Gardens. Has notes of orange, mandarin, lemon zest, coconut, fig, peach, vanilla, sugar, and cream scent notes. So I had just really been into the idea of like a creamsicle scent. I've just been on the hunt to find like that perfect scent combination like in body care for like a true creamsicle scent. And this is like very tropical. I mean, I think it's pretty like true to the name. It smells like coconuts and like oranges, but it's still like very creamy and sweet. So I actually did really like that one. And I saw this other one too. I'm pretty sure I've had this one before. This is called Orange Buttercream Cupcake. It has notes of orange zest, lemon, and buttercream. This one is like, super sweet as well. It's kind of giving like that creamsicle vibe, but like even more sweet. And it almost has like a hint of like the Marshmallow Krispies. Like that one is one of my favorite wax melts from Walmart. And it almost has like a hint of that as well, but like minus the marshmallow note in there. Yeah, I'm really excited to use this one. It just seems like a very like sweet citrus scent. And the last one that I picked up, so there's this new line of Illumi scents that I saw at Walmart. I took a few pictures of them. There's actually one that looks very similar, or I guess could be a dupe for the Love Spell from Victoria's Secret. So so they have that like in wax melt form but this is the one that of course caught my attention it's called cake bake and it says here sweet cake layered with vanilla buttercream it has kind of like this like artificial smell to it but it also just smells like vanilla wedding cake. I still bought it just having the hope that it would smell different like once I'm actually like warming it up. I don't know if that's gonna be the case or not. These I think were like two or three dollars. So a little bit more expensive compared to the other wax melts, but I still wanted to give this one a try. And the last two like fragrances that I got, these are two Glade room sprays. And these I actually got like a while ago. I just forgot to share with you guys. So they are a little bit older. They've been out for a few weeks, if not maybe like a month or so, but I like both of these scents. So this one in Cotton Cloud Dream, I have in my bathroom currently. It's just like a very like fresh cotton kind of like linen scent. And then I also ended up finding this one, the Strawberry Sunday Fun Day. I mean, just look at the packaging. It just looks so cute. And I do have this one in candle form. I actually have both of these in candle form, but I have already tried the Strawberry Sunday Fun Day and it is super sweet, very, very strong. It has notes of strawberry and ice cream. It's kind of giving me the similar vibe to like strawberry pound cake or a berry waffle cone from Bath and Body Works. It's just like a very sweet berry ice cream scent. So I just wanted to share those really quickly in case you guys hadn't seen them already in Walmart. I do actually really like them. And the Glade Room Sprays, like these ones that I got are about a dollar each. I got a couple other like random things from Walmart and I just figured I would share you guys. These are not like body care related at all, but I did make these. 
the other day and I thought they were so good. They're from Betty Crocker. They're the muffin top. It's like the best part of the muffin. I mean, who doesn't love the top of the muffin? So I did bake these already once before. My boyfriend and I literally ate them all within like the first like night or two and they basically tasted like a blueberry like muffin cookie. They tasted really good. And I also grabbed the banana chocolate chip one. So these just look really good. It has like a little bit of like a chocolate drizzle there on the top. This just sounded really good. Really excited to bake those. I love like banana bread, banana nut muffins, like anything like that I am here for. Okay, next let's move on to Target. So I have a whole mix of like different hygiene and body care products. So I did pick up some new deodorants. There are some new deodorants from Dove and it's actually part of this teens line. I saw them on Instagram. I can't remember exactly where I saw them first. I just kind of saw them floating around there on my explore page or on my timeline and I finally spotted them at Target. So they had this one in blue raspberry. This one smelled really good. They had a few other scents. I think there was like a mango one and a melon one. From what I could tell they all smelled pretty good but this blue raspberry one literally smells like a blue raspberry candy. Almost like a Jolly Rancher or something. It's super sweet, which I know some people like might not care for like the sweeter scents like for deodorants But personally, I really like that and I just thought they were like really unique Like I don't have any other scents like this other than scents you would find from native and the other one that I got is strawberry sparkle And this one actually is aluminum free So a couple of the scents were aluminum free It was like half and half and they also had these scents in the matching dry sprays. This one smells really good It's like a fruity like strawberry like a little bit bubbly very sweet really good for like spring and summer because it is like a lighter sweet scent. I haven't tried these out just yet, but the packaging, I mean, they just sold me based off the names. I just knew I had to try them even though they're like made for teens. I just really like the scents. I don't know what it is, but I love pairing my deodorant with whatever scent I'm wearing for the day. So this is another Dove deodorant that I got. This is in the Acai Berry and Lotus Flower. It pretty much just smells like a fresh kind of like berry scent. I'm actually wearing this one today. I really like the Dove Advanced Care deodorants, especially after I just shaved my arms. Like for some reason, these just feel like very moisturizing and they work really well for me for like keeping me feeling fresh throughout the day. So this one is not like aluminum free or anything, but I just love the feeling of this deodorant like under my arms. I don't know what it is. I'm just a big fan of Dove. Like I love almost all Dove products. They're just one of my favorites. And the other one I got is actually from Suave. They have a couple new scents as well. It says Fresh Vibes. This is the Berry Bliss deodorant. I haven't used a Suave deodorant in a little while. This one seems to be like more like that gel formula. All the other ones are more like a powder, but it's just like a fresh berry scent. It's different than the Dove one though. It almost kind of smells like a body wash, like very fresh and clean with just like a hint of berry in there. So I've seen the raw sugar kid stuff like at Target before, but I don't know why. Just like one of the last times I went, they just really caught my attention and I went to like go to smell them. The packaging, I mean, it's either like you're going to love it or hate it. I mean, they're made for kids. So, you know, it is what it is. It says it's a bubble bath and body wash and this is the raspberry oat milk scent. If you are someone like me who loves like sweet, fruity scents, then I think you would probably be interested in these scents as well. They had a few others. There was like a cherry one. I think there was like a mango one. They had some really good scents actually. And this is the one I decided to go with. Literally just smells like raspberries. Like a really sweet kind of fruity raspberry. The little characters here on the bottle kind of remind me of Monsters, Inc. And the bottle is like looking very similar to the old like L'Oreal kids. It was like the little bottle like the fish. That's what this reminds me of. I don't know. We will see. I don't have a bathtub. So I won't be able to test it out unfortunately as a bubble bath. But I will try it out as a body wash. And I got a couple of these other lotions. I didn't know that Raw Sugar Kids made lotions as well. So they had some other scents that I noticed weren't in the body wash and I decided to go with these two. One of you actually messaged me on Instagram letting me know that there were lotions. So thank you for the heads up. I went to another Target and was able to find them there. This is actually hand and body lotion. This is in the avocado green apple scent and it's literally in the shape of a little avocado. So I kind of confused by the avocado note in there but to me this just smells like apples. Yeah just it smells like a sweet apple. I would have thought because it was a green apple that it was going to be a little bit more like on the tart side. But to me, this just smells very sweet. As far as like the avocado note, I don't know what avocados like would smell like, especially in body care. But to me, I'm just getting more so of the apple. And the other one that I got is the watermelon and strawberry scent. And here's a look at the packaging on this one as well. I just think they're like kind of cute. And I think all of these were like four or five dollars each. So I don't think that's like too bad for like a lotion and body wash. Okay, I can definitely use this one to layer with. Any of my other fruity scents from like Bath and Body Works or Victoria's Secret, cause this kind of smells like a watermelon candy 
or like a strawberry candy. It's like super sweet. I put it next to like where I sprayed the strawberry cheesecake and these actually smell really good together. You can easily layer like something like this together. So yeah, I'm glad I got that. I've never tried any of the raw sugar kid stuff. I tried a couple products from like raw sugar, but those just sound a little bit more interesting. There are some new scents to raw sugar as well. I shared them over my Instagram. They have some new lotions. I'll post up a photo here, but there are some more like fruity scents. There's even like a watermelon mint lotion, which that one just looked really good, but I think they were around like $10. I'm gonna hold off on those for a little while. I picked up these actually a while back from Target. It's part of the Love Beauty and Planet line. So they have some new scents out for like spring or summer, I guess. And I got these while they were buy two, get one free. So I ended up getting a matching body cream. These were the two scents that really caught my attention, especially just like down to the packaging. It looks really cute. This one is a strawberry and brown sugar. And here's what the packaging looks like. Like very cute. I love the baby pink with the strawberries there on the front. This just like makes me want to use it. Like as soon as I grabbed it, I knew I wanted to try it out. And I wish there were like more scent notes listed. It just says sweet strawberries and decadent brown sugar. To me, this smells a lot like strawberry soda from Bath and Body Works. I actually was not crazy about that scent like at all. It was a scent they came out with last year for semi-annual sale. And it smells like a like an artificial like strawberry candy. I've always compared it to the strawberry baby bottle pop. I don't know why that candy specifically. It's just what it smells like to me. Like that's what it instantly reminds me of whenever I smell scents like this. So it's very similar to the strawberry soda without that like bubbly kind of like carbonated note in there because it is supposed to make a strawberry soda. I will say out of the two, I prefer it in this one here. I won't say it's like one of my top, top favorites. Like I can probably layer it with something and make it work for me. I might even try it with the raw sugar kids, like the watermelon strawberry these two could probably work together as well this is more like a sweet candy like strawberry the other one i got is called a pineapple and papaya and hopefully you can see the bottle here very pretty very bright very tropical it says a blend of pineapple and sweet papaya i really like papaya notes in fragrances i've been liking a lot of the papaya scents coming out from victoria's secret and this one is like super super fresh it's kind of giving a similar vibe to pineapple cove one of the new scents from victoria's secret like how that was more like an actual fresh pineapple this would be a very like refreshing scent to use during the summertime like whenever you're outside it's not overly sweet it is more like a juicy pineapple scent and for me i'm getting more of the pineapple than i am the papaya i would have preferred it the other way around but overall just like a very fresh scent i will say if you're planning on trying these out or picking anything up from this line make sure to at least wait for a sale because these are a little bit more on the pricey side these i think are like nine i think like maybe ten dollars or so i always at least like to wait for like the buy two get one free or something like that so i did end up getting the body cream to strawberry and brown sugar i think i saw someone on instagram like saying they didn't like it i like it more in the body cream actually than i do the mist like i getting a lot more of the brown sugar like it's just a lot sweeter but i can already tell like it's not going to be a scent that everyone's gonna love like i wouldn't say this is like a safe blind buy scent unless you really like strawberry scents like you like those like sugary sweet kind of candy like strawberries then maybe but it has a little bit of like this creaminess to it as well kind of like along the lines of like maybe strawberry pound cake not that these are like dupes or anything like that but i'm just trying to maybe compare it to other like strawberry scents that I've tried. So I would say if you're able to like get into a Target, just try these out for yourself, especially because you know, they're not like the cheapest body care products out there. And the last thing that I got is this lip balm. It's a glowy lip balm and it's in the scent or like shade nectar. So I believe this is scented, but it has a little bit of like a tint as well. I've never tried anything from this brand, but I was watching, I think it was Jessica Braun. Like she's more of like a makeup YouTuber, but she was talking about this, I think in one of her monthly favorite favorites videos and I love trying new lip balms like I love lip glosses and lip balms so I wanted to try this one out because she said this one was really really good it was a little bit more like on the pricey side especially for a lip balm I think it was like maybe like nine maybe ten dollars I don't know where else you can find it but it is available at some targets and the last thing I got here I'm pretty sure actually I got this at CVS but it's a Nivea lip balm it says a two-in-one lip balm and scrub and it's in the scent wild rose with the vitamin E like I said I just love my lip balms so I've never used anything like this where it's like a two-in-one thing basically what it says here on the back is you just apply it directly to your lips you don't have to wipe it off or anything once you start rubbing your lips together it just makes like the little like exfoliating particles there inside dissolve and then it just kind of dissolves into a lip balm so that's pretty cool that you don't have to like 
wipe it off because I do always like to use a lip balm before like while doing my makeup before applying any lipstick just so my lips don't feel like chapped or dry or anything so yeah I'm excited to try that one out okay and last but not least let's go ahead and get into the new stuff that I found at Dollar General these items I've been on the hunt for for a while I believe it was self-care Catherine that first posted about these like months ago and I remember looking for them back then and then I just ended up never finding them so I kind of forgot about them I think in one of her recent videos she mentioned them again and I was like wait a second let me try to find and track them down so first before I go on any more about this it's from this line called good baths and you can find it at Dollar General so if you've been trying to find this or if you're interested in trying to find it what I did was went onto the Dollar General website and you can look these up and then just put in your zip code that way it'll let you know what stores have it in stock because I know a lot of them around me didn't have this so that just saved me a lot of trouble of driving around to a lot of different stores and they have a full body care line so they have a line of like lotions shower gels scrubs they also had body creams and fragrance mist and they were buy three for ten dollars or four dollars each so i ended up getting a couple different sets of different products this first one here is called cozy hour and it has notes of cotton blossom and musk and i got this one in the moisturizing body lotion along with the fragrance mist so this is what the packaging looks like it's like i don't know how to feel about it the body lotions and the body washes look identical like the packaging is very very similar so it's very easy to like get that one mixed up and the fragrance mist they all are like in this like skinnier bottle which i can appreciate like it's nothing like too bulky it's gonna be pretty easy to store let me see let me go ahead and spray this one it actually does have more scent notes here on the back it says a comforty scent of cotton blossom cashmere musk drenched in apple and creamy sandalwood you can for sure get that creamy note mixed in there it's actually like pretty sweet i would think this is like a warm vanilla kind of yeah this actually smells really really good not quite as like fresh and like clean as you would expect from like a cotton blossom like must scent it's coming off like very very sweet to me i would think there's some of like vanilla you can definitely get like the creamy sandalwood and overall i do think it's more like a warm sweet cozy scent the other scent that i like stocked up on i got like almost everything other than i think the body wash i didn't get any of the body washes so i got the exfoliating body scrub. The body scrubs and the body creams look very similar, so these are easy to get mixed up as well. But I was more so just curious to see how the formula was, and I wanted to try one of the body creams and one of the lotions to actually like see the difference. But this scent is called Sweet Sunday, and it has notes of almond flour and warm vanilla. On the back here, it says salted caramel and coconut milk. You guys, this is so sweet. Like, this actually smells better than some scents that have come out from, like, Victoria's Secret and Bath and Body Works. I'm not sure of how long lasting these are. I mean, these are body mists. I'm not gonna be mad even if they do only last like a couple hours. But yeah, it's just like a very warm, sweet. It has a little bit more like that cozy feel to it like this other one in Cozy Hour. So these two I actually really do like for anyone who likes the like sweet vanilla scent. I'm like going back and smelling them now and why do I actually like Cozy Hour a little bit more? I don't know if there's something else on me that I'm like picking up on, but this one in Cozy Hour just smells so sweet and creamy. The sweet Sunday, which you would think this would be the sweeter of the two because it has the warm vanilla and the salted caramel. I mean, it smells good, but I think out of the two, I'm liking Cozy Hour a little bit more, which is a shame because I picked up <laughs> more products in this scent, Sweet Sunday, but it's not a bad scent. I want to do like a video on all of these a little bit more in depth once I actually get a chance to actually try out the formulas and the body washes and other things. So I'll probably go back to pick up a few more scents and to actually get a body wash to try out. The other one I got is in Ocean Bliss and this has notes of coconut water, hibiscus flower, palm leaf, and salted driftwood. Like don't the notes on these just like sound so good? To me this smells very beachy. I mean, it's called Ocean Bliss. It's just a little bit more like on the tropical side. Kind of smells like there's like this like perfumey note to it. I don't know why it's like making me think of like Avon perfumes. It reminded me of my mom for some reason, like maybe a scent that she wore whenever I was growing up. It's almost like kind of reminded me of like an Estee Lauder perfume. I don't know what it is about it, but there's something like kind of like powdery and floral about this one. Right whenever I first sprayed it, like it was like kind of sweet with the coconut and like the hibiscus but as it's drying down it's more like a fresh kind of like clean kind of like powdery floral scent i don't know if this would be like a must-have but maybe for like one of those scents to throw on like right out of the shower or you know if you're into like more of like those powdery florals or something like a little bit more fresh kind of like perfume like then who knows you might end up liking this one but i did only get this one in the fragrance mist so I'm not too mad about it. And the last thing that I got there is this pack of chapsticks. I, for some reason, just really enjoy 
collecting the different like flavors and scents of the chapstick. This one is the Vacation Getaway Collection and it has the cotton candy one, it has a snow cone one, and also a limeade one. And these just like look really pretty. I like to include these in a lot of like my scent combinations over on Instagram. My camera, it's not focusing, but they actually look pretty cute. I didn't have the snow cone and the limeade one. I do already have the cotton candy, but it's all right. I just really wanted it for those other two to include over on my Instagram. And the very last thing that I got, I got a perfume at TJ Maxx. I went there earlier. I was just on the hunt to see if I could see anything new. And I found this perfume from Gourmand Beauty. I have a few perfumes from this brand. Like I really like it. This was for $11. And this is the scent Chai Eclair. And even though this is a little bit more out of season, like a chai scent I would typically wear during like fall and winter. This smelled really, really good. I don't see my Myself, like reaching for this one anytime soon unless it like we have like a cold day again or something like that but I think this would pair really well with coconut cream pie it has this like creaminess to it you can definitely smell the chai it's gonna be best for like the cold weather a very like cozy warm sweet scent but there's something like very gourmand about this one and I think the combination of something like pumpkin pecan waffles or coconut cream pie or maybe even like bare vanilla like any of those like really warm sweet scents I think it would pair really well with this I almost forgot about some Victoria's secret stuff that I picked up as well. I picked up a couple things because they were having a sale on the natural beauty line which tell me why that is more expensive than their other like regular line because I feel like it's like the exact same quality but for whatever reason that line is a little bit more expensive so they were having a sale I think it was for around like seven or eight dollars and I ended up picking up a few products from that line because I was waiting until like a sale because I didn't want to pay full price. Usually when they do like fragrance mist or like body care sales this collection is like not included. The scent that I had been eyeing is this one in Coconut Milk and Rose and I've just been really enjoying like the creamy kind of like sweeter rose scents. So I did get it in the Body Butters which these are pretty new. They have these new whipped body butters and I ended up going for these instead of the matching body cream. It looks like a nice like whipped kind of like fluffy texture. It actually smells really good. This would be really great to layer with a really good like spring scent. This is one that I was not a fan of whenever I first like smelled this entire collection. Wasn't really crazy about it but you know rose scents have like slowly started to grow on me so I wanted to have like a little set of it to pair with some of my other like perfumes or fragrance mists. And the other scent that I got also is the pomegranate and lotus scent and I also got this one in the matching um, whipped body butter. And again wasn't really a fan of this scent at all, but I've just been liking more of like the pomegranate scents. This one smells really good, very fruity, really good for layering, a really good like fresh spring scent, but still like on the sweeter side. I've been tempted to get the, is it pomegranate and raspberry from EOS, like that lotion. I have all of them except for that one, and I've kind of been thinking about maybe adding that one to my collection, but I also now have this, so I can probably get like the same effect with layering as far as like with other perfumes and fragrance mists. But these scents have been around for a while. My top favorite, I think still, is the almond and oat milk one. That one smells really good. Very like cozy, sweet, warm scent. But these I think would be better suited for like springtime. I'm just really excited to start layering them and trying out the whipped body butters. But that wraps up all the new stuff that I got. So really exciting, like brand new finds. A lot of like new things that I've never tried before. So if you guys have tried anything that I mentioned or anything that you're on the hunt for, let me know in the comments down below. But I think that is it for today's video. So if you guys did enjoy this video and want to see more videos like this, Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and helps out my videos. So I really appreciate whatever you guys do. And also don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. Thank you all so, so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.